electric vehicles are being tested against a critical part of our roadway system. The guardrails, this protective barrier along highly traveled roads, is typically tested against vehicles weighing up to 5,000 pounds. But many electric vehicles weigh more than that, up to 30% more, in fact. As Chris Van Cleve reports, that means most guardrails may not hold up in a crash. Early on a Sunday morning in January, this 2021 Tesla slammed into a guardrail on Interstate 405 in Irvine, California. The vehicle appears to have careened off the roadway and broken through the barrier, leaving behind mangled metal and killing the driver. Now, new testing is raising questions if the safety infrastructure lining U.S. roads is strong enough to handle impacts from electric vehicles, which tend to be heavier than their gas-powered counterparts. Tests showing EVs tearing through the guardrail, or here essentially lifting a similar barrier and passing below it. University of Nebraska professor Cody Stoley. Unfortunately, these guardrail systems, which have performed very well with gasoline vehicles historically, do not appear to be containing electric vehicles when impacting with similar types of conditions. In July, Soli's team rammed this 7,000 pound electric pickup into concrete barriers commonly used as freeway medians at 62 miles an hour. Weighing 2,000 pounds more than a gas powered pickup, the barriers contained the collision, but chunks of concrete were sent flying and several of the 5,000 pound barriers were pushed back 10 feet, 50% more than normal. Does something need to change with how whether it's the rules around guardrails or when new ones are put in. There has to be an awareness. So we're trying to create awareness for that so that there can be more research done and not just on guardrails, but also on barriers. Nebraska Senator Deb Fisher. When you went into this testing, did you expect to see what you saw? It was eye-opening. There was a lot of damage. And again, if there would have been vehicles on the other side of that barrier, uh, we would have seen a severe accident. More than 19,000 people died in crashes where their vehicle left the roadway last year. That's nearly half of all traffic deaths. Guardrails and similar roadway barriers are designed to reduce the number and severity of these crashes. This is how a guardrail is supposed to work, containing a vehicle and redirecting it back towards the road. But watch what happens when an electric sedan hits a standard guardrail. During this new testing from the Texas Transportation Institute, the guardrail fails as the sedan rips through. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says it is concerned about EV's additional weight resulting in more severe crashes. A concern NTSB Chair Jennifer Homedy told CBS News she shares. I think it does present significant challenges for safety. In March, Senator Fisher asked Chair Homedy about EVs and guardrails during a Senate hearing. Our guardrails uh, crash attenuators, they are rated up to 5,000 pounds. Many of these vehicles go up to 10,000 pounds. So it, that has an impact on safety. The EPA estimates half of all new car sales could be EVs by 2032. Not much time to raise the bar on roadside safety barriers. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington.